So again, same as what Sammy was doing. You see how Roxy yeah. sands her ground, quickly spins, goes up higher. Because she's smaller, she makes herself bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Warning. How does the dog respond to it? Nice. Does it learn? Nope. <laughs> Oh, well, it is, but notice it has learned, yeah. yeah? Because Roxy's saying it's been fine to play, yeah. So the tails are still wagging; they're still in that yeah. playful state. But what your dog, what she's saying is, don't jump on me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. So look, yeah. So, okay, right there, telling off, and see so your dog acts submissive. Yeah. Yeah. And now your dog goes off to do something else. So it wasn't the play; the play wasn't the issue. Yeah, they were yeah. happy playing. Roxy's setting boundaries, saying, "Look, mm. I don't mind playing. We can run around. We can play." Don't jump on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you need well balanced dogs to set the message. Because if you actually watch a puppy class when they're letting the dogs play, there's always dogs being pinned down, there's dogs being bullied and things like this. Yeah. Uh and owners are going, Oh, this is so cute, this is adorable and they're often just picking up dogs, putting them in timeout, shit like that. When you see, a telling off done correctly, without emotion, straight to the point, the dog gets the memo. Yeah. So the dog come back, it did learn. It come back, but it, again, it's because the Roxy's going, we can play, just don't jump on me. Yeah, yeah? yeah? So very quick. Dogs learn quicker by watching other dogs. But if you've got a dog that doesn't have, hasn't learned adequate social skills and how to be around other dogs, and you keep mixing your dog <laughs> with other puppies and things like that, they're not going to learn that. They're just going to learn, I can keep playing, I can keep playing, I can keep playing, and there's no real limits to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? That dog, your dog just learned limits, and it doesn't take offence to it, and now it's going off sniffing. But look, see, look, this is five minutes later. They're playing. Dog's barking, tail's wagging. Right, they're playing, but look, your dog isn't jumping on her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, going to try it, but see that right there? That was the warning. And see how your dog heeds that warning? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Rox? What's up? And then your dog goes, okay, I'll go and do something else. No, I'll go and find a smelly toy. <laughs> Doesn't take offence to it. Nice body language. I've got a toy now. <laughs> yeah. So, you're, like I said, your dog's learning there's more than one way of socialising. Socialising isn't jump all over the dog, go absolutely nuts. Socialising is learning to coexist. Socialising is learning to play by the other dog's rules. Yeah. yeah? Same as when we play. If you play, there's loads of different ways of socialising, but it has to be mutual. It's not, oh, I'm going to jump all over you and you have to take it. It's like, no, if you want, Roxy's like, if you want to play my game, we run around, we play nicely, you jump on me, I'll tell you off, I don't like that. Yeah.